So, Merry, um, well, actually, it's like Christmas right now. Well, in 15 minutes. Well, Merry Christmas. And uh, so, how are you doing? Uh, hope you all are doing well. Some of you may not like Christmas. And uh, I was starting to like it again um, after my mother died. And uh, it took like two years to get there until about a few hours ago when I was trying to be merry. And yeah, we'll get to the unboxing. And uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to curse anymore because apparently uh, YouTube came out with new guidelines. So until holy Cleopatra, my daughter ruined Christmas. So my 20-year-old uh I was going to say disorder. <laughs> my well, she has a brain disorder. Um, basically, my 20-year-old daughter decided to gas up, well, borrow the family car, the only good car we have that actually runs, and uh, she decided to, oh, well, we need gas. And uh, she used my husband's credit card anyway. To, it wasn't like out of the goodness of, the, of her heart that she was paying for gas. Uh, so she used his credit card to fill up the gas tank. But guess what she filled the gas tank up with, boys and girls? Diesel fuel. Yes, diesel fuel. And holy Cleopatra. Um, so, well, what happens when you fill a regular gasoline automobile with diesel fuel? Well, it's going to cost about two to $3,000, boys and girls, to have them drain the diesel fuel out of the engine and flush it like five or six times. And then... If it didn't actually get into the engine and destroy the engine, it'll only be about two to three thousand dollars. But if it did destroy the engine, boys and girls, guess what? We have no car. So I asked her, well, didn't you see the big sign that said diesel? And she said, no. And I said, and didn't you see the big green nozzle? That is for diesel. And she said, no. And I said, well, didn't you notice that the diesel a uh, pump did not fit into the gas tank because why, boys and girls? Because diesel um, gas pumps are actually much wider and bigger than for traditional cars because they go into basically 18 wheelers and large automobiles like, well, trucks. And she said, well, I thought because of the cold weather, it swelled up in size. <laughs> well, holy Cleopatra. All right. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I can get into the Christmas spirit now because now we're uh, bleeped. Uh, I, I can't say anything anymore because YouTube's going to actually shut my channel down. Can, I'm going to get a bleep button. That's what I'm going to get. On Amazon for like 13 bucks, they have a button, a big red, in, instead of the Staples Easy button, they have one that says bleep and every time you want to curse, you just smack your hand on it. That's what I'm going to get. Unless one of you nice people out there, since we're going to probably have no automobile or transportation soon, would be kind enough to donate to the channel a bleep button. Um, if you want to, write in the comments below and I'll uh, set you up where you can uh, actually send us a bleep button. Um, yeah, so... My daughter said, I'm so sorry, Daddy. And he said, I'm going to throw up. And so basically, I said to my husband, would you like to open up your Christmas presents? And he said, no. And so, boys and girls, um, my house is actually going through a period of mourning. And everybody is in their collective rooms right now, sulking. And so we may not have an automobile. And uh, by the way, to get it towed to our local well, not so local gas station, which is about 11 or 12 miles away, it's going to cost us another like 200 or $300. Because why? Because holy Cleopatra, we live in New York where everything is more money. And so what did I get? This is probably the last thing I'm going to be getting for a long time because now she bankrupted the family. Great. And, oh, oh, okay. Very interesting. And uh, I probably will have no place to wear these, these earrings, by the way, because now we have no car to get around. And uh, here we go. <laughs> oh, these are actually really quite beautiful. And what the hell are they? Well, they are actually mother of pearl. And that's a good, a good way I can curse. Instead of saying mother trucker, I can say mother of pearl. And yeah, these are mother of pearl earrings. When were they made? Basically. Uh, made sometime in the 30s to the 1950s in Italy. And these are silver. And let's check it out. I got these, I think, for like 20 doll hairs. They are marked, I think, 800 somewhere. Um, and they're screwback earrings. And uh, yeah, we're pretty screwed. And screwback earrings are actually perfect um, for that situation. And so I am going to clean this with silver polish. And uh, actually, 
try to rock these and I'll probably look like an 80 year old dowager woman. Um, but I have no place to go anymore uh, due to my daughter's uh, basic uh, disorder of the brain of not re uh, actually reading signs and not realizing that the big green nozzle that barely fits into your gas tank um, is diesel. So thanks for watching. I wish you and your family a very merry or happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Oh, I forgot. Uh, these days it's politically incorrect to say Merry Christmas. So happy holidays to all of you. And to all a good night. And yeah, that's it. I'm done. I didn't leave yet. I just want you to see this. And I'm losing my mind. And it's time to take a Xanax. So long.